Okie yo guys, so Jason's vlogs here, so it is currently a Monday, it's currently a Monday evening as I'm starting off the vlog a little bit later than I would normally and the reason why, because I've been getting a lot of pain in my left side going right across where my stomach is so I've been mostly kind of resting all day in bed uh, my original plan was to obviously start off and going out to obviously film some uh, new Power Pot Rest episodes if I can but as I did mention in last week's vlogs and other vlogs I have mentioned that the Power Pot Rest episodes are currently on hold due to my health and that I do want to get some more episodes done but the way I've been feeling lately uh, not exactly been feeling 100% at the moment uh, as well as uh, the um, as you know, I have already previously mentioned about the Train Simulator game video. I am actually currently working on, on getting that uploaded. I was going to hopefully have it uploaded by the end of last week. Uh, I am currently still working on that video at this moment. I do apologize that it's taking me a lot longer to catch up on video content, which I want to actually do, as well as as I have just thought of a of another video that I want to start working on as well, but I shall obviously update you guys on what that that video will be. Uh, there's basically a whole list full of video ideas that I've got anyway, of which I've got planned for my YouTube channel. So. What I'm going to do is obviously say that is going to be it for the Monday's vlog as I've been kind of obviously resting and laying in bed all day today. So that is going to be it for the mon Monday's vlog and if I'm feeling a lot better I shall see you guys tomorrow in Tuesday's vlogs. Yo guys, up Jason's vlogs here. Today is currently Tuesday. And to start off a Tuesday's vlog, let's just say there's something interesting going on. My neighbour downstairs was literally screaming her head off, literally, really loudly to the top of her own voice. I could literally hear her on my security camera that's outside. And one of the neighbours obviously across the road obviously heard her screaming from the top of her voice, was very concerned and called the police out as well. So, yeah, the neighbour across the road direct, directed the two police officers to the neighbour's flat downstairs. Except the police didn't really, uh, they didn't exactly stay long. They sort of like knocked on the neighbour's door downstairs. Now I assume that obviously the neighbour downstairs answered the door because I heard the door being opened. So, whatever the outcome was, I don't know. But let's just say it was very concerning because at the time I was on the phone to my dad and even he heard the neighbour screaming. So, I don't know, how about some weird neighbours in my block of flats? Anyway, to, obviously uh, for the Tuesday's vlog, I'm going uh, to be kind of spending most of my day indoors today, catching up on uh, getting some game video finished and caught up with, and hopefully soon I want to uh, hopefully get some PowerPoint uh, episodes done, hopefully depending on how I'm feeling during my, uh, obviously my health condition that. But I will obviously give you guys an update of when I will be heading out to film any more Power Pot West episodes. Um, I am currently in the middle of working on a uh, sort of brand new episode at the moment to obviously add to the other episodes that I've got on my YouTube channel. Now, I am currently working on episode seven. I've just got obviously find the chance and time to go back down to the location where I'm filming at and do the nighttime investigation when I'm feeling up to it. So 
It's just a case of being patient and bearing, bearing with me, guys. So, yeah, for today's uh, vlog, I'm going to be indoors, catch up on gaming video content and get some of that recorded and hopefully finished uh, by the end of today or the end of tonight, hopefully. Um, I also did mention in yesterday's vlog I do have some upcoming videos um, that I have planned for the future which I also am going to be working on uh, probably probably sometime next year uh, Okay, now my neighbour upstairs is actually banging I'm not sure if the camera can even pick that up, but yeah. That is not right for some reason. Anyway, so far it's been an eventful of my, yeah, it's been an eventful morning so far. My neighbour downstairs is screaming from the top of her voice. Now I've got the neighbour upstairs banging. <laughs> anyway, guys, I shall uh, pick up the second part of the vlog. A little bit later, and I shall give you guys an update of how the gaming video is going. And I'll catch you guys soon. Bye for now. Yo guys, right, just, this is just a quick recap of this is the reason why I've not been able to upload the game simulator video. The reason why is because I'm stuck on this part of the, of the game, is trying to get the train to move forward. And basically, you have to let off the the brake, which you can see I've just done there. And obviously, you've got the acceleration thing here, which you push forward, and the train's supposed to go forward. And um, as you can see, it's not moving forward whatsoever. So, this is the reason why. The train simulator gameplay video is taking me a while to even get done because I'm stuck on this particular part. So I just thought I'd give you guys an update of the uh, game simulator video. As I did say in the beginning part, that I was going to catch up on some video content and this was going to be part of the game video that I was working on. But by the looks of it, as I can't do any more, so I shall pick up the next part of the vlog a little bit later on. I'll catch you guys soon. Bye for now. Right, guys, as you saw in the last part of the vlog, there, I uh, decided to show you guys the reason why I haven't been able to do the train simulator video uh, as well. Earlier on, I also had Sam's stepdad Craig who uh, popped over to see how I was doing. Uh, I also did manage to obviously get him on camera so I will include that in part of the vlog as well. Hey. Oi. Oi. Oi, oi. Oi, 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 fish and chip. I'm the chip, you're the fish, now we can get here, we can have that Vlog as well. So, with that said, guys, so it's going to be the end of Tuesday's vlog and I shall see you guys tomorrow in Wednesday's vlogs. Yo guys, so Jason's vlogs here. Today is currently on Wednesday and to start off the Wednesday's vlog, well this morning I've had my neighbour knocking on my door just to ask me where I knew where the water meter was. So obviously I decided to tell him that it was located outside underneath the concrete pavement floor. Right, with that aside, uh, I've um, literally just uh, bought myself a smartwatch on the Argos app this morning, which I'm going to be heading out in a little while 
head down to the Elgos store to pick up my smartwatch. Uh, also, I finally discovered a way how I can get my sat nav to stay onto my uh, handlebars of my moped and obviously early hours this morning I was like wide awake and I couldn't get back to sleep so I decided that I was going to browse on eBay and have a look at a, uh, a handlebar mount for which obviously mounts onto a uh, bike handlebar so um, I've actually kind of been uh, looking at one on that which is a smartphone sat nav holder mount for cycle motorcycles scooter handlebars so that's what I'm going to be buying to obviously sit my sat nav into so guys with that said I shall pick up the next part of the vlog a little bit later on and I'll catch you guys soon bye for now Yo guys, right, this is the beginning part of the vlog that I mentioned that I had obviously bought myself a smartwatch off the Argos app. And I did eventually go to pick up the uh, smartwatch from Argos. However, I'm not quite happy with the quality of the watch, considering the amount that I paid for it. Uh, this is the watch here. And as you can see, the LED display on it is not as I expected it to be, and it's obviously gone off. Now, normally with a smartwatch, well, with a smartwatch, there's supposed to be stuff like uh, Facebook on it, WhatsApp, um, App Store, and all oh, smart stuff like that anyway, yeah? However, this doesn't do anything like that. I um, mean, I'll just obviously show you guys. All it has is on it is a step, picks up your steps of how many steps you've done, uh, how many miles you've walked. That I don't know what that means. Apparently, it can track your sleep. Uh, sports mode, whatever sports mode, uh, if you're running or whatever. Uh, it can read the weather. Messages useless to me. Because obviously I receive my messages on Messenger. And there's no touch features that you can't even enter into any apps or nothing. There's nothing. It's pretty much useless. There's nothing. And according to the instruction manual, guys, it's supposed to have a camera on it. Now, considering I've got a bright light coming off the camera, I'll try to put it on it. I can't see a camera on this thing. So, there's nothing smart about it. I'm going to be taking it back to Argos tomorrow. Because it doesn't do any of the smart features like I wanted it to do. And there's no description on the Argos app of what it does, really. Uh, all, all, all the description it explains is that it's a smartwatch. Um, I, know, so I can't remember what the actual descri um, de description of what it says on the Argos app, but all I know is when I looked at the instructions, so obviously go to set it up. It was this part of when I was of the plus knowing that the instructions are useless. These QR codes which you have to scan and which I would assume it would be the series four that I would scan to set it up, which is this one here. Basically, it's just a, another Fitbit watch, which is useless to me. That's how I discovered that it's not the kind of watch that I was after. It was up until that I read the instructions that says thank you for, for, for purchasing your 
active smartwatch. Uh, your watch has a variety of features. To get to know this short guide will will have you up and running no in no time. Now normally that sort of thing tells me it's actually a Fitbit watch. So I'm gonna either go ahead, definitely take it back to Argos, try and get my money back because I'm not happy happy with the watch's quality. It's not really a smart watch, it's absolutely useless is what it is. So anyway guys, with that said, that is going to be the end of Wednesday's vlog and I shall see you guys tomorrow in Thursday's vlogs. Yo guys, so Jason's vlog there. So it is kind of Thursday and to start off Thursday's vlog um, as you saw in yesterday's vlog, I mentioned that I was going to take the smartwatch back to Argos and try and get my money back. However, if I do that, the, I won't actually get my money back. They'll obviously stick my money onto a Argos voucher, which I don't really want at the moment, as I, I haven't really got anything else to actually uh, spend that money on at the moment. Anyway. I've decided I'm going to actually keep the smartwatch as I kind of figured out a way how to actually keep it on my wrist as my wrists are quite small and uh, when I can get a chance to go into town uh, find uh, someone that can take a link out of the watch. I've taken one link out so far from the watch so I can get it to fit sort of round my wrist. And uh, not only that, the actual watch does, I've also installed the actual app on my phone that goes with the smart watch. Uh, the actual watch has a feature that allows me to track my sleep pattern, as my sleep pattern is actually currently uh, kind of all over the place at the moment. So that's one good feature that I'm perfectly keeping the watch for, as well as uh, it also tracks uh, my steps of how many steps I've done today which is a total of uh, well I've only just been like walking around my flat so far this morning if I can work out how many steps apparently I've done a total of 31 steps around my whole flat today so yeah today I'm gonna basically have a bit of a chill out relaxing day today uh, possibly catch up on a bit of tidying around that needs needs doing as well, and might consider of, uh, trying to hopefully try and record the rest of the train simulator uh, the um, train simulator game video if I can get the actual train to move in the game. Um, hopefully soon I do want to obviously. Uh, get myself back on track and going out and investigating the paranormal and hopefully have some more power podcast episodes but obviously with my health condition at the moment I haven't been able to get out and do that so you guys have to bear with me and be patient with the uh, power podcast episodes and I know that it was since like last year I've done the last six power podcast episodes and um, I know this year I've not really been up being able to get out and do any more episodes. Obviously, like I've mentioned, it's to do with my health, which kind of stops me from going out and doing the uh, filming for the more powerful West episodes at the moment. So guys, with that said, I shall possibly pick up the next part of the vlog, possibly a little bit later on today, and I shall catch you guys soon. Bye for now. Yo guys, right. As you saw in the beginning part of the vlog, I um, uh, mentioned that I was going to probably try and catch up on some gaming uh, video, on most on the game the uh, game video. Um, however, I hadn't actually done that. I've actually kind of been mostly kind of kind of like resting and kind of mostly sleeping most of the day as I have painted my side again. So at least I'm being kind of 
honest that I've not actually done anything apart from sleeping, uh, as I was um, in pain today anyway. And with that said guys, that is going to be the end of Thursday's vlog I think. And I shall see you guys tomorrow in Friday's vlogs. Yo guys, so Jason's vlogs here. Today is kind of Friday. Now you all know what that means. The end of this week's vlogs. And to start off the Friday's vlog, um, the plan is obviously, well, I'm not going to be going out anywhere today as uh, the weather isn't that brilliant. It's rather windy and it looks like it could either pour down with rain at any moment. So I'm not really going to be planning on going out anywhere today. So the plan is to obviously I'm going to try and catch up on some gaming content today. Hopefully I want to try and figure out what the, uh, well, see if I can get the train to move forward on the train simulator game video. And if I manage that I shall obviously give you guys an update a little bit later on. Uh, also... As you guys already know, I've not actually been throwing up to actually going out and filming any Power and Pop Guys episodes due to my health and that. Um, as um, Halloween isn't that far off now, which is coming up in October time, I'm going to hopefully plan to actually go out and film a Halloween special for the Power Pop Guys episodes if I can, depending on how I'm feeling. Uh, yeah, so with that said guys, I shall pick up the next part of the vlog a little bit later on. And I'll catch you guys soon. Bye for now. Yo guys, right, as you saw in the beginning part of today's vlog, I mentioned that I was going to catch up on some game video footage. And some exciting news, I finally have all the video footage for the Game Train Simulator video. And now I finally also have all the video footage that I need. I shall be editing the Train Simulator game video over the weekend. And then hopefully I shall be also adding the rest of that footage of the uh, game video all into one big long video as well so that's some exciting news I have uh, officially done that today which obviously means the first part of the train game simulator video the first part is actually now complete I've just got to finish editing the rest of it all together which I shall be doing over the weekend anyway with that said guys that is the end of Friday's vlog as well as the end of this week's vlogs so be sure to subscribe click the notification bell and that way you guys get notified when I next upload a weekly vlog or any kind of video content I may have planned for my channel and I shall see you guys in next week's vlogs